Hola, están viendo We Hope Sports. You are watching We Hope Sports. I am watching We Hope Sports. We Hope Sports. We Hope Sports. It's all in My name is Ken Todd, I'm Lisa Vanderpump's husband, I'm Jiggy's, the person that carries Jiggy, and I give a good shout out to We Ho Sports. Thank, thank you. Hi. Hi, Leo. Hi, how are you? We're good, you? Good, very good. So why are you walking for AIDS Walk? Because uh, I think it's a great cause and I'm really excited that there's so many people here. Yeah? Uh, what do you <laughs> think we need to do in order to end the epidemic? Um, education and funding for research. I think we've made really big strides and there's more to do. Do you know anyone personally who is HIV positive? I do and I know a lot of people who have passed from AIDS. Thanks so much for your time. Hi, I'm Karina Smirnoff and you're watching WeHo Sports. You're watching WeHo Sports and I'm Hi, Evil Dick. Home. Well, hello. Hi, how, are how are you? Are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I've been following you and Dancing with the Stars forever. Thank you very much. What makes this event special for you? Well, it's special because it's 30th year and it has grown to this magnitude. And you come out here and, you know, it's Sunday. You want to kind of stay in bed. But when the moment you get here, the energy of people uniting for a great cause like this is incredible. And you, you just feel... You feel like you're part of something amazing, something incredible. And, and to be able to do this every year here in Hollywood, where so many people come out and support from, we had our Mayor Garcetti here today doing the speech, a lot of people from the television, from the industry, and then just people coming out to support, to bring awareness. It's great. Like, why would, why would anyone not want to do it? It's, it's true, I agree with you. And this uh, is how you fight something like this, you know? This is AIDS, it's about AIDS and HIV, about bringing awareness about this, you know, um, virus. Um, but then there are so many others, like now we're talking about Ebola, we see Ebola in the news. And because of what this is today, we know we're going to be okay because we are united. We are here to spread the word, spread awareness, to know what to do, how to take care of ourselves. This is why this is so important. It saves humanity. How do you guys deal with this issue on, on television? Because I know you probably have lost a lot of friends to, to HIV and A. Well, coming, coming from the world of like dance and sport and art, uh, you, I do have a lot of friends that either have contracted HIV and became HIV positive or the ones who've passed away from AIDS. And um, the perception of people who are not affected directly by this virus have changed so drastically in the last 20 and 30 years from when the virus was just out in the scene and people did not know what to do and, and the stereotypical perception of why the virus came about and who contracts it. I feel like that has changed so much in the last 30 years. So coming into the world of entertainment where it's a little bit more vocal and not as private. 
because everything, you know, if it's on if it's on TV, the whole world knows about it, you know. Um, coming into that, knowing that this is something that has developed into a mass movement, people of any race, any culture, any age, any sexual orientation are all coming together to fight this. So I think this is very important. What do you want to tell the young fans out there? Because I know you have a, a big follower of, of young fans out there. What can you tell them to stay clear of uh, contracting HIV? First of all, do your research. Go find out what can you do to protect yourself. Second of all, you have to love yourself. You have to love your body. Your body is a wonderland. Treat it with respect. And the moment you treat it with respect, if you protect yourself, if you take precaution, if you do whatever is necessary to be safe, you're going to be okay. Thank you very much. Can Thank I you. Hi, I'm Karina Smirnoff, and you're watching WeHo Sports. You're watching WeHo Sports, and I'm Evil picture. Dick. You're watching WeHo Sports, and I'm Good Evil Dick. Dick. Hello, Senor Dick. How are you? Very good. Well, congratulations on you coming out. I watched the show. Oh, you watched it the show? It happened this Sunday. I mean, uh, this week I, I watched the past okay, week. Okay, yeah. And I was crying because I'm a survivor of 23 years of HIV. And when I heard you, when you were dancing around, I said to my partner, Bit that's probably what it is, but I wasn't <laughs> sure. And then you came out and like, yeah, you're right. How has your life has changed in this few weeks that people have? Known? Wow, it's only been like a week and a half, um, but a lot. I mean, it's I don't know. Walking into the <laughs> walking into the unknown of how people are going to react to me, to the disease, to everything was. It's just. I don't know, it's kind of scary that you just, you know, you don't know. So, but I knew that this was the right place and the right platform for me to do it. You know, it's uh, back on television where people have seen me go through my personal issues before on the other show on Big Brother and stuff. So um, uh, that was like really my intention. My entire intention of doing this show was to use this to go public with the fact that I was HIV positive. And because you never hear, I mean, you never hear... But yeah, I'm like, I'm sitting there going, I know that me and Magic Johnson are not the only straight motherfuckers out there Hello. with this disease. This is bullshit, you know? And like, why should I feel like I should have to hide the fact that I have a disease? It's just stupid. It's just stupid. The stigma attached to it is ridiculous. And I hope that like in a little tiny way that I can like do something to kind of like, you know, break those barriers or at least like add to it. You know what I mean? So... And people have stopped talking about it. It hasn't been in a press a whole lot. Um, where it's just put on the back burner because it's treatable now. And if people don't realize that there are still millions of people dying of AIDS and AIDS related diseases. And the fact that like, you know, 40% of the people carrying don't even know that they're carrying um, and passing it along. So um, I don't know, some of, this, some of the numbers and statistics are just crazy. But, you know, all in all, it's just people are people. People are people. It is what it is. And, you know, any kind of disease or anything like this with the stigma is just ridiculous. So I hope that I can just add a little bit to that. And um, the massive amount of press that has been circling me and is circling me right now. I feel like I'm like in a tornado of, like, fantastic. insanity right now. It's and it's been, the reaction has been so great, you know. It's so supportive from all, so supportive from, from all the fans. I mean... I was driving down Hollywood Boulevard and had somebody pull up and go, you're so courageous, I love you, you know, it was really good what you did and so on and so forth as I'm driving down the street. So um, I know it's a good thing that I did and, uh, and I'm happy I could do it. So. I think it's a fantastic thing that, that you were able to use that platform. But take us to the process of how difficult it was for those three years of going in your head, that should I come out should I not come well, out because it's very difficult for me it was well it, it it wasn't it wasn't because um, when I was diagnosed I was in a long-term relationship I was already in a two-year relationship with my girlfriend and I think about six months after my diagnosis I like talked to her and I'm like I'm considering going public and she's like no 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 it was like out of the question so you know, and being in a relationship, you have to take your partner's feelings into consideration. So then it was off the table. But after breaking up with her and the show started airing, we were broken up for like 10 months. 
when I started talking to producers and casting was probably three months before, so let's say like six, seven months after we had broken up. And I don't know, I think about, well, if I want to go public with this, what's the best way? A blog? A YouTube video? You know, calling someone in the press that I know and having them run a story or something and um, this came up and I was like this is perfect so and I really I really really thank VH1 because it VH1 for you know to allow me to use their television show um, to go public with this is, is fantastic because there's not a, it's not a lot of networks doing it that will let you use them their shows for your own personal reasons and and they really did and they were fully supportive and they've been they've been great they've been great so um, it's been a good experience it's been a really good experience I, I know you said on the show that you haven't had any sex for so long three years uh, I mean. Is it going to get easier for you? Or, well, I, mean, I know that there's people out there that... It didn't that, show, okay. but you have to understand, like, uh, and I'm not, trust me, I'm not trying to say I'm, like, famous or celebrity. I never use that word. I just say that I'm well-known. And I am. I'm well-known. But for being in my position, like, dating, if I'm asking you out on a date, and I have to tell you that I'm HIV positive, what? I keep my fingers crossed and hope that you don't go to the press and sell it to TMZ, Us Weekly, somewhere else. You know, it's just so at the end of that relationship, I'm like, well, this is going to be it. You know, you tell one person, they're going to tell 20. I mean, you know, with anything, because people like to talk. So, um, so I just figured that that was going to be it. But after this going public and stuff, I got to tell you, I have never been hit on so many times in my life as I have in the last week and a half. Uh, but it's, it's been, it's, but it's been crazy. It's been crazy. So, so I'm sure that you know, there's, I, you know, as I'm finding, there are plenty of women out there that are, you know, willing to get into a relationship. Uh, so. Um, it's, it'll be a matter of time. I'm sure that find I, I'm sure. I'm sure. Let me tell you, one of the toughest conversations I ever had in my life was with my girlfriend that I might have infected. I didn't know. That was my first concern, you know. So, yeah, that was oh my God. It's a, that's a hard conversation to have, you know. At that point, you know, it's it's you that brought it into the relationship and everything else. So, you know. Um, but I don't know, at least I had the, I never cheated on you to fall back on, because I didn't, you know, it was before we were together, yeah. And you're in such a, you know, I'm in what you think is such a low risk group, but, you know, I'm here to say that, like, it could be anybody, so it could be anybody, so, yeah. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was a Thank pleasure to meet you. This, oh, it's quite all right. You're watching We Ho Sports, and I'm Evil picture. Dick. I'm This is Jimmy Rollins, and you're watching WeHo Sports Show. Hey, this is Kike Hernandez, and you're watching WeHo Sports Show. I'm Justin Turner, and you're watching the WeHo Sports Show. Thanks so much for your time. Home. Well, hello. Hi, how, are how are you? you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I've been following you and Dancing with the Stars forever. Thank you very much. What makes this event special for you? Well, it's special because it's 30th year and it has grown to this magnitude. And you come out here and, you know, it's Sunday. You want to kind of stay in bed. But when the moment you get here, the energy of people uniting for a great cause like this is incredible. And you, you just feel... You feel like you're part of something amazing, something incredible. And and to be able to do this every year here in Hollywood, where so many people come out and support from, we had our Mayor Garcetti here today doing the speech, a lot of people from the television, from the industry, and then just people coming out to support, to bring awareness, it's great. Like, why would, why would anyone not want to do it? It's, it's true, I agree with you. And this uh, is how you fight something like this, you know? This is AIDS, it's about AIDS and HIV, about bringing awareness about this, you know, um, virus. Um, but then there are so many others, like now we're talking about Ebola, we see Ebola in the news. And because of what this is today, we know we're going to be okay, because we are united. We are here to spread the word, spread awareness, to know what to do, how to take care of ourselves. This is why this is so important. It saves humanity. 
how do you guys deal with this issue on, on television? Because I know you probably have lost a lot of friends to, to HIV and AIDS. Well, coming, coming from the world of like dance and sport and art, yeah, you, I do have a lot of friends that either have contracted HIV and became HIV positive or the ones who've passed away from AIDS. And um, the perception of people who are not affected directly by this virus have changed so drastically in the last 20 and 30 years from when the virus was just out in the scene and people did not know what to do and, and the stereotypical perception of why the virus came about and who contracts it. I feel like that has changed so much in the last 30 years. So coming into the world of entertainment where it's a little bit more vocal and not as private because everything, you know, if it's on if it's on TV, the whole world knows about it, you know. Um, coming into that, knowing that this is something that has developed into a mass movement, people of any race, any culture, any age, any sexual orientation are all coming together to fight this. So I think this is very important. What do you want to tell the young fans out there? Because I know you have a big follower of, of young fans out there. What can you tell them to stay clear of uh, contracting HIV? First of all, do your research. Go find out what can you do to protect yourself. Second of all, you have to love yourself. You have to love your body. Your body is a wonderland. Treat it with respect. And the moment you treat it with respect, if you protect yourself, if you take precaution, if you do whatever is necessary to be safe, you're going to be okay. Thank you very much. Thank Can you. I'm This is Jimmy Rollins, and you're watching WeHo Sports Show. Thank you very much. Hey, this is Kiki Hernandez, and you're watching WeHo Sports Show. I'm Justin Turner, and you're watching the WeHo Sports Show.